Candidates for State Senator, District 9 Eva Birch Party Democratic Campaign Funding Traditional Website evaforarizona.com Biography Eva was born and raised in Arizona and attended public schools through high school. She studied nursing at Grand Canyon University and began her career in 2012. In her many years as an ER nurse, she saw firsthand the impact that insurance status, housing, food insecurity, and other disparities have on Arizona communities. A nurse at heart, Eva advocates for a better, more inclusive Arizona that works for everyone. Eva works on the front lines of the fentanyl crisis as a nurse practitioner in addiction medicine. Her priorities include access to high-quality health care, fair wages, and affordable housing. Statement I am a lifelong Arizonan, a mother of two, and a nurse practitioner. I am running for re-election to help advocate for the fundamental needs of everyday Arizonans. I support increased investment in public schools so that our children have equal access to high-quality education and well-qualified teachers. Families should not go bankrupt over medical bills, and I will help create a system that does not leave children, aging adults, or the poor behind. Lastly, I believe we must restore and protect access to abortion. As a state legislator, I will continue to work for Arizonans to have equal access to their voting power including the option to vote by mail, while also working hard to maintain the integrity and security of our elections. I believe in safe and secure borders, as well as respect and appreciation for our immigrant communities. I support efforts to create opportunities for more affordable housing. As a senator in a mixed district, I know we need balance and collaboration in the legislature and representatives who will be loyal to the people of Arizona over political parties or special interests. Let's work together to make Arizona the best it can be. Robert Scantlebury Party Republican. Campaign funding traditional. Website www.supportscantlebury.com. Biography I grew up in Norwalk, California, on a small farm in the city. I attended and graduated from Cypress College and California State University, Fullerton. While in college, I worked as a community service officer for the university police on my campus. I was recruited by the Mesa Police Department and moved to Mesa, Arizona in 1992. I served our community for 27 years and retired as a police sergeant in 2018. I then served two more years as a volunteer reserve officer, frequently filling in as a school resource officer. I now own and operate a small business. Statement As a retired Mesa police sergeant who served and protected our community for 27 years, you can be confident I'll continue fighting to protect our freedoms. As a small business owner, I'll advocate for less regulation, lower taxes, and reduced spending. 
We must restore the American dream with the ability to own a home and a prosperous economy. As a father and public charter school board member, I will defend the rights of parents to make decisions about their children's education. We must secure our border, support our veterans, and defend our First and Second Amendments. I am proud to be a God-loving, America-first conservative who believes in hard work and personal responsibility. My wife, Heather, and I have been married for 24 years, and we want to raise our two daughters in a safe, affordable, and free Arizona. Two years ago, I chose to run for office because our state senator was not upholding our values. I beat the incumbent senator with nearly twice as many votes in the Republican primary. With your continued support, I will be a voice for individuals and bring integrity and principled leadership to the Arizona Senate. Learn more at supportscantlebury.com. Christopher Stapley Party Republican Campaign Funding Traditional Website stapley4az.com Biography As a fourth-generational Mesa Arizonan, my life is rooted in God, family, and the principles of integrity and hard work. My path at ASU transitioned to a role in the Arizona House of Representatives, where I observed the impactful strategies of business and legal professionals. This experience led me to a legal career where, for nearly a decade, I've safeguarded individual and entrepreneurs' rights. My wife's academic pursuits overseas further deepened my love for our heritage. I hope to apply my legal expertise and problem-solving skills to the legislature aiming for a common-sense, collaborative solutions to brighten Arizona's future. Statement As a common-sense Republican, I believe in a balanced approach to governance that prioritizes both fiscal responsibility and collaborative solutions. Our party values individual freedom, free market principles, and limited government intervention, while also recognizing the importance of addressing societal challenges in a pragmatic and compassionate manner. Economically, I would back policies that promote growth and job creation through lower taxes, reduced regulation, and support for small businesses. We must grow our economy to provide opportunities for upward mobility while maintaining fiscal discipline. On core Arizona issues, I would advocate for educating all students by supporting school choice, traditional public schools, and homeschooled children. I would back our first responders and, while balancing kindness for our vulnerable communities, and promote fairness and justice within our society.
This includes supporting initiatives that advance affordable housing, reducing inflation, and being good stewards of our water and environment, all while respecting individual liberties and promoting personal responsibility. As a common-sense advocate within the Republican Party, I strive for bipartisan collaboration for pragmatic solutions that benefit the state as a whole. By embracing a thoughtful and inclusive approach, we can bridge divides, uphold Arizonan values, and ensure a prosperous future for many generations to come. Candidates for State Representative, District 9. Lorena Austin. Party Democratic. Campaign funding traditional. Website www.lorenaforarizona.com. Biography Representative Lorena Austin is a fifth-generation Arizonan whose family has lived and served in the LD9 community for over a century. Representative Austin is a former public educator with Maricopa Community Colleges, and has work experience in the nonprofit and private sectors. They proudly graduated from Mesa Community College and Arizona State University. Representative Austin is committed to continuing their work by advocating for reproductive freedoms, investing in education and health care, combating the climate crisis, and stopping the displacement of LD9's vibrant community due to rapidly rising housing costs. In their first term, they were proud to sponsor major investments in higher education and introduce community-based legislation. Statement I am a fifth-generation Arizonan, a native of Mesa, a former educator, and a community member whose lifelong love for advocacy and leadership has been rooted in this district for over a century. Arizona desperately needs representatives who will serve the best interests of our community, leaders who will show up and engage in constructive conversations and provide transparency to their constituents. I currently sit on the Arizona State House Commerce and Appropriations Committees and serve as Secretary of the Latino Caucus and the LGBTQ Plus Caucus for the Arizona State Legislature. I am particularly proud of my work in my first term to secure a $40 million investment in the Arizona Promise Program for college students. If re-elected, I will remain steadfast in fighting for public education funding, reproductive rights, housing, water conservation, and continue to combat the multiple anti-LGBTQ plus bills at the legislature. Kylie Barber, Party Republican, Campaign Funding Traditional, Website KylieBarber.com Biography Kylie Barber was born and raised in Mesa 
and is the youngest of seven siblings. Kylie is a proud graduate of Mountain View High School. Go Toros! Additionally, she holds expertise in children's law and policy, as well as international rule of law and security. With a tenured advocacy background, she's championed for children with rare diseases in Washington, D.C., and early childhood policy at the Arizona State Legislature. Outside of public service, Kylie enjoys bodybuilding, horseback riding, and family time, embodying a well-rounded approach to life and leadership. Statement My background in child development children's law and policy, and international rule of law and security equips me with a vast reservoir of knowledge and experience. From advocating for children with rare diseases in Washington, D.C., to championing early childhood education in our state legislature, I have dedicated myself to the prosperity of children and families. I believe that the bedrock of our Mesa community lies in strong family values. Proudly standing as a pro-God, pro-gun, and pro-family, I am unwavering in my dedication to preserving our community's family-centric ethos. I recognize the paramount importance of upholding the rule of law in ensuring community safety. My pledge encompasses strengthening law enforcement and securing our Arizona border. Having witnessed firsthand the devastating impact of fentanyl and other illicit drugs on Mesa families, I am determined to eradicate their presence from our neighborhoods. I acknowledge parents as the foremost authorities on their children and I am dedicated to fostering robust, transparent relationships between parents and educators to guarantee every child's access to a quality education. Your vote is invaluable to me in forging a brighter future for Arizona's children and families. Learn more about my platform and vision at KylieBarber.com. Seth Blattman Party Democratic Campaign Funding Traditional Website SethBlattman.com Biography Seth Blattman has lived in Arizona since childhood. He attended both ASU and U of A. He is the owner of a family business in the furniture industry that he successfully transitioned from brick-and-mortar to e-commerce. In the legislature, he has written bills focused on affordability, economy, as well as protecting voting rights. The creation of a micro-business loan fund has been his greatest accomplishment. He believes in supporting public schools, protecting access to abortion, and representing his community. He serves as ranking member on the Ways and Means Committee and sits on appropriations and military affairs and public safety. Statement my family moved to Arizona when I was 10 years old. I went to U of A on a scholarship and finished my degree at ASU. I worked at my father's furniture manufacturing shop while pursuing my MBA. When my family's business fell on tough times, I came home to take over leading it and provide new direction. I am running for re-election to the Arizona State House of Representatives because I love Arizona, and I know that so many are tired of the current political climate. 
In my first term, I've shown my ability to work across the aisle in a bipartisan manner to achieve common-sense solutions. My appropriation of $5 million in the state budget for small businesses will benefit countless Arizonans. If I am re-elected, I will continue my focus on structural reforms, bring down the current temperature of politics, and make government reflective of the will of the people. We might not agree on everything, but we should be able to trust that our representatives are good people making decisions for the right reasons. As a community, we are ready to fully fund public education restore a woman's right to choose, and build a better government. Marianne Mendoza Party, Republican Campaign funding, traditional Website, MendozaForArizona.com Biography Mary Ann is an Arizona native, born right here in Mesa into a military family. Her father served in the Air Force. She has worked as a real estate agent for 42 years and is blessed with four children and eight grandchildren. Mary Ann was thrust into the illegal immigration fight when her son, Sergeant Brandon Mendoza of the Mesa Police Department, was tragically killed by an illegal immigrant who was driving while intoxicated or high. Mary Ann has since been a voice for angel families across our country, working with governors and even presidents. Her hobbies include gardening and horses. Statement I'm an angel mom, whose son, Sergeant Brandon Mendoza, was tragically killed on May 12, 2014, by an illegal alien who is driving while intoxicated or high. That's one of the reasons I bring so much focus to supporting our law enforcement and ending illegal immigration. Add in the violence, crime, fentanyl epidemic, and the billions of dollars illegal immigration costs Arizona each year that could and should be going to our schools, health care, and infrastructure. And this is clearly a top priority. We also need to undo the damage being done by Joe Biden's economic policies. High inflation, high gas and food prices, high interest and mortgage rates, and a stagnant economy. I'll work to protect school choice, ensure parental rights, and protect our district and charter schools. And I'll keep pushing on long-term issues like economic growth, job creation, and ensuring Arizona's water future. 2024 looks like another one of those years where Arizona and America picks a direction to move in. Will we embrace the Katie Hobbs and Joe Biden big government approach that makes everything a partisan battle? I hope not. Our issues are too big to be treated that way. That's why I'll work with everyone and anyone to make things better.